We need to be able to attract people that we want, and we need to send home people that we don't want. That is a perfectly, perfectly reasonable position to take, and one I adopt in my own home when I get fed up with people at my party sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> we need to be able to attract people that we want, and we need to send home people that we don't want. That is a perfectly, perfectly reasonable position to take, and one I adopt in my own home when I get fed up with people at my party sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, to clarify something that uh, he said, um, it may be a bit pedantic of me, but you did say when you were talking about uh, immigration that we should, um, we should send people home that we didn't want. Now, I hate to see you make the front page of the Guardian tomorrow, so could you just reassure me that you meant that we would have the right to refuse entry to people that we didn't want, and you didn't mean that we would send people home who are currently here quite legally. Thank you for the chance to, to clarify that, although um, um, this, this is about getting people to come to this country that we need, and I'm quite clear about that. Uh, you know, from, from all across the world. I have uh, no inclination or should anybody <coughs> look at retrospectively sending anybody home. And if I've given that uh, uh, perception in any way or fashion, then I, I apologise, but it's not my intention. I'm sure it's just <laughs> Can I just reiterate, uh, it's not its policy at all uh, to send back anyone who came here legally and has been obeying our laws, but I should say that by getting out of the jurisdiction of the European Court of Human Rights, that will assist us in sending home a particular group of people that I don't think we make any apology for wanting to send home, and that's the foreign criminals and the breaches of hate that have been here for far too long. Yeah. Yeah.